Hey there, John from mysolarhome.us. In this video, I'm going to be talking about solar panel prices and how much should you really be paying for uh, solar panels in your home on your roof. If you're planning to buy solar panels for your home, this is a good video to watch. We'll be talking about the current pricing for solar panels that are roof installed uh, in the US. These prices are current as of June 2022. I'm going to be talking about the difference between cash prices and finance prices. Then I'm going to be talking about how to compare two different quotes. The best way to compare two quotes is using something known as a price per watt. And finally, I'm going to end the video with my recommendations of what kind of prices should you pay when you are buying a system. If you're looking for solar for your home, email me at john and mysolarhome.us. I'll send you a no obligations quote. So let's get down to solar panel prices. Now, the first thing to know is that solar panels, if you're planning to buy solar panels, there are two ways you can do it. You can pay for the solar panels up front. We normally call that a cash purchase, or you can take a loan and buy it. One of the best kept secrets in the solar industry is the huge difference between buying cash and buying finance. If you're buying solar panels, taking a loan, you're gonna be paying 35 to 40% more than if you bought the system in cash. Now, when I'm talking about the price of a system, I'm talking about the gross price of a system. The gross price of a system, this is the price before any incentives, the price before any tax credits. Let's look at the difference in the cash and finance prices for the same system for a buyer in South Carolina. The price of the system, if you bought it cash, is $20,938. You get a tax credit of $5,443. South Carolina is great. They also have an additional state tax credit of $5,200. And you end up with a net out-of-pocket of, of $10,260. Many solar companies are going to lead with the net price and say that, okay, get solar from me and the price is going to be $10,260. However, when you're buying the system, you'll need the entire $20,938. You'll have to pay the solar company $20,938 over the course of the first year, you'll get back the tax credits and you'll end up with a net out of pocket of 10,260. The same system that we looked at here, the cash price of 20,938. If you were financing the system, the finance cost of the same system is 28,101. That's right, it's $7,000 more expensive when you're buying the system using a loan. All the loan products which solar companies offer you in the market, they come from four or five big companies like Mosaic, LoanPal, SunGate, Sunlight Financials, and many of the bigger companies have their own financing. So pretty much when you buy a system which is finance, it's going to be way higher price than a cash price of the system. Now, why is there such a huge difference between the cash and the finance prices? It's because the finance companies are offering you loans which look really attractive, 0.99%, 1.49% interest, and 1.99% interest. But loans are not really available at those low rates. In order to give you those low rates, they put a huge amount of dealer fees or points onto the cash price. So the 20,938 gets padded up with fees from the bank and the price is increased to 28,110, and that's the loan you get. Solar companies typically don't have any incentive of either selling you cash or finance because they'll get the same amount, which is the cash price of the system. If you're looking for a solar quote, email me john at mysolarhome.us, and I'll send you both cash and finance quotes. And the good news is I have financing options which don't have these huge fees. You'll be able to buy systems at the same price cash or finance. Next, I'm going to show you how to compare quotes from two different companies. This is for a customer who's in New Jersey. So we're going to be comparing a cash quote. The gross price or the cash price of the system is 30,841 bucks. A system with 28 panels. Each of these panels are 400 watts. Now, how do I compare this with a second quote? The second quote that this person has got, that the customer has got, is for a system with 32 panels but they use a different panel, which is a Canadian solar panel, which is 395 watts each. And the price of that system, the gross price is 32,816. The second system is obviously about 2,000 bucks more expensive than the first system. But how do I compare quote one versus quote two? Is system two actually more expensive than system one? Or is there more to it? Now, the best way to compare these two is to learn how to do a calculation known as the price per watt. The price per watt is kind of like the price of gas per gallon. It's easy to compare. If a gas station one charges you more per gallon, you'll probably go to another one which charges you less. Similarly, when you have a lower price per watt, you're paying less. 
Now to, to calculate the price per watt, you take the gross price of the system. For example, the first for the first quote, the price is 30,841. You divide the gross price 30,841 by the number of panels. And this is 28 panels. So you divide 30,841 by 28 panels. And then you divide by the size of each panel in watts. So remember, this is an REC 400 watt panel. So that's to be divided by 400. So if you do that math, 30,841, first divided by 28, and then divided by the panel watts of 400, you'll come to a price per watt of $2.75, $2.75. This is the number that you should always use to compare different systems. And the price per watt calculation works whether you're buying a cash system or a finance system. The only thing you should be careful of is that don't compare price per watt of a cash system with a finance system. Always compare cash, always compare price per watts of finance systems to other finance systems. Now let's look at the price per watt of the second system. So the gross price is 32,816. Divide that by the number of panels, which is 32 panels, and divide it by the panel watts. In this case, it's Canadian Solar 395 watt panels, so it's 32,816 divided by 32, divided by 395, and you come to a price per watt of $1.260. Now, if you compare the two systems, system two is actually much better priced. $2.60 a watt is a lower price that you are getting compared to 275 a watt. Other things being equal, you should go with option two. When you're comparing two different systems, compare on price per watt and compare on system size. Don't compare on energy produced. That's usually different companies use, different companies use different algorithms. They use different ways of estimating and it's all over the place. And finally, how much should you be actually paying for solar when you're buying. Now, the price per watt varies across the country. There are some areas where it'll be higher, some areas it'll be lower. So I'm giving, going to give you a range. And if you're looking for a specific quote, email me an electric bill at john and mysolarhome.us and I'll send you the most reasonable quote with the best equipment at no obligation to you. So cash prices should be around $1.250 to about $1.310. If you're buying a system finance, the price per watt is much higher because of those huge fees that those banks charge. They start at $3.30 and they can go up to $4.20. So that's a huge difference in price when you're buying finance. Now, if you want a finance system from me, I can give you options where you get the same finance price as the cash price. You'll pay $260, $270, maybe $280 when you're getting it financed through some of the banks that I can give you contacts to. Email me john at mysolarhome.us for your quote. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Have a great day. Please subscribe.